Hello, in this video we are going to do an example of discrete analysis with MOSFET transistors. And what we see here is we are giving a four resistor bias network with a MOSFET, um, particular values that characterize the MOSFET, and we need to find the current drain to source, the voltages at the gate, and the source at the drain, voltage drain to source. Okay, so the strategy for the circuits is that we are going to do the analysis assuming that the transistor is working in the saturation region. Okay, and so in that case, IV is equal to, we already derived this, right? Mu N permittivity of the outside divided by thickness of the outside with over length BGS minus BT square or sorry one half that one half k prime with length bgs minus bt square and so in this case what we have is one half k is given k prime 50 times 10 to the minus 6 And then we have 200 divided by 10. Times VGS minus VT is 1 square. If we knew the current at the drain, we will be able to find everything. But for that, we need to know the voltage at the gate and the voltage at the source. Let's start with the voltage at the gate. Now, the MOSFET draws no current at the gate, and so this is a voltage divider, so the voltage at the gate is simple. We have R2 divided by R2 plus R1 times V dV, or 10 meg <coughs> divided by 10 meg plus 10 meg V dV, they are the same one, it's a voltage divider, of course, times, times 10 in this case, so this is 5 volts, right? So now we know, at least one of them, this is 5 volts, 5 volts, as expected. We have a voltage divider network with two resistors that are equal value, 10 volts gets divided, 5 volts there. But we still need to find the voltage here at the gate, so this is our step number one. So our step number two, what's the voltage at the gate? Well, if we knew the, the, the drain current, we will be able to find it, right? The voltage, in fact, the voltage gate to source is the voltage at the gate minus the voltage at the source. The voltage at the gate is five volts and the voltage at the source, if this is IV, is equal to the drain current or the drain source current or the source current, they are the same, times 6k. 6 times 10 to the 3. 6k. Now, this expression we can plug in right here. And we have an equation with an IV and an IV a quadratic equation, right? Well, well, that we can solve. So if we do that, what we find, so effectively what I'm, what I'm advocating is IV equals one half, 50 times 10 to the minus six, 200 over 10, PGS we plug in, 5 minus IV 6 10 times to the 3 minus 1 square and solve for IV. And if you do this, what you're going to find, because a quadratic equation, or you're always going to find two values. Okay, we actually get IV equals 0 0.5 milliamps and IV equal um, 
0 0.89 milliamps. Okay, and one of them actually you have to discard, it does not work. Typically, it's going to be the larger one. When you multiply the 0 0.89 milliamps times the 6k, you get that the value at the gate is 5.34, which is, sorry, the value at the source, 5.34, which is higher than the value at the gate. You will get car no current at all. So this is not right. This is the correct. So once again, because we have a quadratic relationship, we always get two solutions. One of them, when, when you use it, it gives you a value at the source that it is not possible. Okay, in this case, it gives us a value at the source where the source voltage is higher than the gate voltage. It gives you a value of 5.34 volts. So you discard that. And once we have actually the that this is 0 0.5 milliamps, now we can find everything. So 0 0.5 milliamps times 6K, that's that this is 3 volts, right? And uh, the same thing, so we have a voltage, so this is 3 volts. Voltage gate to source, now this voltage gate to source is 5 minus 3, is 2 volts. Voltage gate to source is equal to 2 volts, which is higher than the threshold voltage, as we assume. If this is 0 0.5 milliamps, the voltage drop around the 6K is 3 volts. So we have that the voltage at the drain is equal to BDD minus ID times RD or 10 minus 6K times 1 milli. Sorry, 0 0.5 milli gives us 10 minus 3 volts equals 7 volts. So this is 7 volts. And the voltage drain to source, therefore, is 4 volts. Quickly recap, since we have a voltage divider in a MOSFET, we are always able to find the voltage at the gate in the four bias configuration and discrete amplifier. So R1, R2 equal value, 5 volts. This is our step one. In order to, to find all the other voltages, what we need to find is the current, the drain current, for which, in order to find it, you need to know the voltage gate to source. You know the voltage at the gate, and you can find an expression for the voltage at the source. The voltage at the source is always going to be the, the, the drain current, which is the source current, times the source resistance. So with that, you are able to find the expression that we did here. So voltage at the gate minus the drain current, which is equal to the source current, since we have no gate current, times the resistance gives us this expression, which we can plug in into our equation for BGS and solve it, the quadratic equation, where we have two solutions, one of which does not work. In this case, it's going to be typically the larger one. When you multiply times that resistance, it gives you a voltage at the source, like in this case, 5.34. And this value, which is higher than the voltage at the gate, which means that you will have no current at all. So you discard it. The lower one is the one that you're going to use. And once you have it, you can find the voltage at the source, the voltage at the drain, and all the differences between those voltages. Thank you.